How's it going, Henry? Hey, buddy. I'm pretty good. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. My name is Wes Davies. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here at the Legends Bar and Grill here in Kaohsiung with my very good friend, Henry. Hey. So I've actually known you for, what, five years, ever since I moved to Taiwan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I first met you, Legends was way on the other side of town. Yeah, it would have been down in Chitsuan. So I remember we used to go down there, hang out by the river, and I always remember the food being so good. Well, thank you. It's because we make everything fresh. So we've actually just ordered some fries and pizza, and my girlfriend always loves coming here. She says the food is amazing, fresh, and I know the chef, you have JJ. Oh, JJ's amazing. One of the best in the biz. Absolutely. Fantastic chef. Yeah. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about your experience in Taiwan over the last many years that you've been here. How long has it been? 17 years, I think. 17 years. Actually, I didn't realize it was that long. No, it's a long time. I love it here. So what do you love most about living in Taiwan? Taiwanese people obviously are super, super nice. Yeah. Taiwanese culture is really cool. The weather's fantastic. The people are super friendly. Taiwan's a very convenient country to live in. Mm -hmm. And it's just a nice place to be. Uh, my wife is from here. Obviously, of course, that also helps. That helps. My wife is Yan Su Ming. She's from uh, Pingdong. And she's uh, of indigenous descent? Yeah, Yan Su Ming means Aboriginal in Taiwanese, in Chinese, sorry. So yeah, you're, I think your Mandarin is probably better than mine. No, my Mandarin's terrible, but I Hui Jiang Yi Dian Dian. What brought you to Taiwan originally? You're from the UK. Yes. I went to university in South Africa and my best friend from university was here and he told me it was a really good place and I should come check it out. Yeah. And 17 years later, I'm still here, he's still here. And he would, was basically telling me that Taiwan is a pretty good place and I should come check it out. And I wasn't having the best fun in London just because I wasn't very career focused. I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, and so coming out here was really nice when I was 24. 24 are the prime years. I know, right? Yeah. Oh, to be 24 again. <laughs> I know. So what do you like about Kaohsiung as opposed to Tainan or anywhere else in Taiwan? I like the wide open streets yeah. of Kaohsiung. I find that Tainan is a lot more, I, the analogy I like to make is that Tainan is more like London mm -hmm. and Kaohsiung is more like Paris where in, in, in London, because it's so much older, um, I know it's weird to say that London is older than Paris, but it's because of Napoleon. Hmm. So in London, it hasn't been urban planned. It's, it's always been, the streets have kind of built up organically over hundreds and thousands of years. Right. And so the streets remain quite, quite narrow and it's quite, it can be quite dark in London. Hmm especially in the winter time. But then you go to Paris, and Paris has these Kaohsiung style, very wide. These huge boulevards. Yeah, boulevards, exactly. What have you noticed about Taiwanese people in particular? Taiwanese people are very friendly and welcoming. They seem just to be really straight up nice, kind people. Mm -hmm. Like they're always very, very, very helpful, always trying to help. You know, I speak Chinese, but not super well. And I'm often embarrassed by the, the level of my Chinese and Taiwanese people always just say, hey, don't worry about it, you know? And they'll always make an effort and try to make, for, especially foreigners, to feel welcome. And even if you just know a few words, they'll say, oh, well, you know, that's so nice to yeah, they're super. Trying. They're super positive, they're super polite, they're super kind. We are here actually in your restaurant. Yes. What made you want to start a business here in Taiwan? When I realized that I wanted to be here long term, and then I realized that I didn't really want to be teaching in my 50s and 60s, okay. I decided to branch out and food is just always, food and drink is just always something that I've been a, a big fan of. I love to eat out, I love, uh, I like cocktails, I like to experiment making different things, right. different flavors. Uh, I like a very intense flavor and when I started this restaurant was maybe 10 years ago Taiwan's especially Kaohsiung wasn't quite as cosmopolitan as maybe it is now and it was harder to find really good authentic foreign food we got some commotion upstairs oh there's comedy there's comedy going on upstairs I apologize for that sorry yeah it, it seems like there's always some kind of event going on here at Legends as well. Yeah, I mean, this is a bit of a community hub, or at least it's turning yeah. into a community hub, turning into like a local bar, or a place where people just go to get good food. Our menu is, everything's fresh, everything's cooked, either to order or it's prepared fresh that day. The food is, to a large extent, pretty healthy. We like to produce a lot of flavor. Flavors are very vibrant. In terms of the lifestyle that you have here in Taiwan, compared to what it would have been if you stayed in England. What would you say the main differences are? I honestly can't really answer that question very easily because I spent only six months after university living in England. I've been here yeah. for so long. 
this is home now. Right. I mean, when I go home, of course I love English people. Of course I can see opportunities for myself in the UK. But, you know, my, my wife's family's here and they, they have kind of become my family. Of course I miss my family in the UK, but I go home and I see my family in the UK. This has just become home. And it's funny, you've been here for 17 years. Even if you're a 15 year old Taiwanese kid, You've actually lived in Taiwan longer than they have. Oh, I, I still teach sometimes, and yeah. I, I often say to kids, when they say I'm not Taiwanese, I say, why not? I've, I, you're Taiwanese, and they say, yeah. And I'm like, well, I've been here longer than you. <laughs> <laughs> Any regrets? I mean, do you ever think, huh, what if I left Taiwan, or what if I had stayed in England, or moved to another country? No, man, I, I'm very happy with Taiwan. My wife is here, man, I love my wife. And like, I've been able to build this restaurant here, which is a dream of mine. Mm -hmm. I've been able to follow my dreams. I'm quite grateful to Taiwan for having me. Well, I'm sure Taiwan is happy to have you as well. Oh, they put up with me this long, I guess. <laughs> and how do the Taiwanese tend to like the, the Western menu? It can be a hard sell for, for Taiwanese because of the authenticity of the menu. Like, and <laughs> because it's very, very, very flavorful, it can be a bit of a surprise to Taiwanese people. Right. But increasingly, they they like it. It's why I was talking earlier about Kaohsiung is becoming more cosmopolitan. I think if I'd have opened this restaurant in Taipei rather than in Kaohsiung, it would have been an easier sell to the people of Taipei. Right. But the people of Kaohsiung are now culturally uh, catching up. And so we're getting busier and busier and busier, actually. All right, top three favorite places in Taiwan to travel. My favorite place in Taiwan is my wife's mountain valley. It's absolutely gorgeous. My wife is from Pingdong, from Lai Yi. Um, we have a house in Lai Yi, and that's my favorite place in Taiwan by far. I absolutely love Lai Yi. It's beautiful, beautiful mountains, rivers to swim in, mountain roads to ride a motorcycle around, mm -hmm. beautiful mountain views, clean air, cooler weather. It's absolutely lovely. Number two would probably be Kenting. I do love Kenting for pretty obvious reasons. I love to go to the beach. It's just a really nice place to be. Um, probably third would be Charlie Ocho. Mm -hmm. I haven't been to Charlie Ocho in quite a long time and I hear that it's changed for the better actually a lot since I've it's last been there. It's getting more accessible, a little bit more touristy, but maybe just a little easier. When I first went to Charlie Ocho, there was only just a 7-Eleven there, okay. you know? So like Charlie Ocho to have more restaurants and more, more things for people to do which would uh, help to, to grow the local economy, I think is a, is a good thing. Okay, and just to wrap it up here, top three favorite foods in Taiwan, and you can't choose anything from your menu, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, I'm gonna choose all the food from my menu, because <laughs> my menu's amazing. Top three things in Taiwan are our pizza, our hamburgers, and our barbecue plates. Yeah. Maybe not in that order. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Shameless plug, sorry. If Shame you haven't so. tried Legends, please come try it. The food is absolutely fantastic, as are the drinks. And of course, I will put uh, the address to your restaurant in the description below. And thanks so much, Henry, for taking Thank you so minutes. much. And we always love the food here. We love coming to Legends. Thank you very much. No nice problem. to hear. And I, I'm happy to see that business is going well. Yep. And that you're doing well. Yep. And your wife and everything is going great in your life. Uh, everything's great. Nice, man. All right, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Do all those nice things. Like, share, subscribe, etc. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. All right, nice. Cheers, bro. Thanks, man. I did all right? Oh, yeah, perfect. Very well spoken. I'm uh, quite articulate. I had an extremely expensive education. <laughs> all the way around the board. Oh, wow. This way, delicious. this is the Browns home team. And then the white ones are trying to come all the way around the board. This way. So I think if you watch, you'll get the hang of it. Let's get going. We roll to see who goes first.